Hey fam, I just want to quickly update you about something I found interesting, you know, after Coinbase went public, okay? It's not nothing to do with Coinbase, it's not something, something much to do with um, the current AMC stock we are actually holding or even, you know, buying more. So, um, Kevin Durant, you know, the basketball player, superstar, NBA superstar, um, he invested in Coinbase around 2017. And he put around maybe 250, 250 to a million dollars. This is what he said usually he will put into, you know, uh, ventures, meaning, you know, investments outside of the court. Now, if we take into consideration 250,000 right now after um, Coinbase went public with the valuation around $86 billion they have and the current price of maybe $323 a share, man, these guys, is now up 54 times, 54 times what the current price was when he did invest, you know, back in 2017 with around maybe 250,000. So that's basically like you and I putting or buying AMC stock when it was around $10 and uh, profiting when AMC will be at $570 a share. You know, that's 54. Oh, 54, yeah, 550 and 40 dollars a share. That's 54 times, you know, the amount of money he was able to to put. So, guys, this is just to say, um, it took four years from 2017 to 2021, right? It took four years for that investment to pay off. And even more interesting, it what um, he's quoting at the end of you know one of these. He has multiple business on the side, but this is interesting. Durant has said the best business advice he's been told. Don't do things just for money, all right? Do, don't do things just for fame. Do things because you feel, do things because you feel right and it feels true. So back to AMC, you know, I invested in AMC before the whole Reddit thing started, but I invested in AMC because I really believe this is a good company and, uh, and um, as a recovery play, it is a company with a positive outlook. I love going to movie theaters and I didn't think the fact that the shorts are, you know, hammering this stock or double, doubling down on, you know, attacking this stock for which reason? Just because they are shorts and, you know, they love to make money on the downside of companies going down. But those companies bring actual, actual value to real people, you know, so I think whoever is holding EMC right now, you know, it's following this recommendation from Durant. We do things, or I mean, we bought the, the stock because not only we love the company, but because we feel it is right, or we feel it is not right what the shorts are doing, you know, and we need to undo that by buying more and holding, you know, holding tight. So I know a lot of us are millennials and one of our nature as millennials is to be impatient, but patience is really the way to go here, guys, because if it took Kevin Durant four years to have an investment to be multiplied by 54 times, then what is it compared to this to hold a couple, couple of more months, you know, or at least, yeah, a couple of more months for this to really, you know, pop and you're ripping similar gains, you know, just hold, man, just hold if you can afford to.